I'm glad to be back with you again. This time, there's another case study, but I will change the gender. Imagine you are a lady executive, middle level, working on a software project in a very prestigious IT company in the IT sector. You have been so busy with this prestigious software project that although you have known that there's a bumper sale offer, you couldn't have time, you didn't have time to browse through the site. Now the sale is almost going to close. It is the last two hours which are left and you rush to the laptop and you open the site and you get out your debit card and you go for you know closing a sale there's an offer and you buy you go for that offer you close the deal within a few hours you will get the parcel now which brain has acted is it your reptilian brain yes or no i will remind you the reptilian brain is meant for survival the goods that you have ordered are not for your survival then is it the paleomammalian brain at the middle level which is full of emotions and any impulsive decision like impulsive purchase is taken by this brain or is it by your neocortical brain the cortex which is very very rational it's cool it asks questions should i go for it will it be of utility what is the quality assured what is the price can i get a better offer now since these two brains are evolutionary, very old, very primitive. They take fast decisions. This neocortex being a new addition to the human, the primate brain and maximum thick in the human brain, it goes very slow. For your information, in 2002, a very renowned psychologist, uh, Professor Daniel Kahneman, he got the Nobel Prize for Economics for his work on thinking fast and thinking slow. Now the lower two stories of brains, they think very fast because they are very primitive, very ancient. The upper brain thinks slow. In future, out of these three levels of brains, which one would you use? You might have to use hmm, some, for some. In some cases, the reptilian brain. In some cases, you might have to use the paleomammalian brain, which is the emotional impulsive. And in some cases where you have plenty of time to think and find out the answers to various queries, you might go for the neocortical brain. So think about these things. We'll see you again in future.